Hey everybody, happy Wednesday. I think today's Wednesday and I'm back and uh, I had an interesting few days of really needing to reset and uh, you know, regroup a little bit. I had kind of hit my own wall on Friday and uh, realized that I needed some rest and some relaxation. So I took it and I did a lot of the things that we've been talking about. Uh, to be able to reset from this chronic stress. And the chronic stress right now is this, this continual stress. It just keeps going, you know, and we keep having to create things and face things, even though we may be in sort of our new routine, our COVID-19 routine. Uh, there are still stressors on how things are going to unfold and how long things are going to take. And this kind of cumulative stress uh, is what is taking its toll on everyone. And also the increase in um, computer time, in device time, because we're all on it so much more because we can't go and do anything else. It is actually exhausting um, our brain and nervous system in a different way because of the amount of it. So today I wanted to talk about something that has been super useful for me uh, and for many others. It's called the vagus nerve. Uh, reset or activating your vagus nerve. And I took some notes from some of the research. It really is this um, part of our nervous system that we can actually manipulate and um, influence to help us feel better in a lot of different ways. So today we're gonna to talk about what is it? What's the vagus nerve? What does it do? What's its job? And then three ways we can activate it to be able to help our system manage the daily stress. And this isn't just for COVID-19, but try it now because we have extra stressors in our lives. So um, the impact of this cumulative stress is it's like having the foot, your foot on the gas and the brake at the same time. It's kind of an internal revving and the system is getting drained. You're using up too much fuel and not efficiently. And so chronic stress drains the system and we wanna do the three R's. We wanna be able to relax, recover and restore. And we have to do it with intention. We can't just leave it to, you know, I'll, I'll feel better later. Um, so like I did over the weekend, I had to do the three R's, re relax, recover and restore in the ways that were helpful for me. So the, the vagus nerve is actually the longest nerve in the cranial structure. It starts at the base of the brain. And when you indirect, indirectly stimulate the vagal nerve, um, it can relieve anxiety, it can reduce depression symptoms, and it can actually improve your concentration. The vagal response, it, the vagal nerve, the, its purpose, it, the reason we have it is to reduce stress. And it's vital in that parasympathetic nervous system. And the vagal, vagus nerve goes all the way down, okay? It impacts the heart and the gut and all the organs. So it is what is signaling and sending messages to the gut and the heart and the brain in its connectedness in the nervous system. But its job is to diminish stress. And um, it it reduces our blood pressure when it's activated. That's its job. And it changes the function of certain parts of the brain. It stimulates digestion. When you stimulate your vagus nerve, it releases all these anti-stress enzymes and hormones. You've heard of these, acetylcholine, prolactin, vasopressin, and oxytocin. And so these are those innate organic chemicals we have inside to help our systems be in balance. When we stimulate the vagus nerve, it's associated with some improved concentration, improved memory. It actually helps our immune function. It helps our sleep. <sighs> Higher levels of growth hormone get activated, and that's the stuff that keeps us young, okay, guys? And it may also uh, help inflammation and allergic responses and tension headaches. So this isn't a one and done, okay? I'm gonna show you some ways to do this. The important thing is that you actually roll this into your daily habits. And you know, creating new habits isn't always easy, but it can be very, very helpful and productive to link a new habit with something you're already doing. So since the vagus nerve originates in the brainstem and it extends all the way down, 
it actually touches in on the vocal cords and the heart and the lungs. And you know when somebody says, uh, when they're emotional, oh, I have this lump in my throat. Okay, activating the vagus nerve will calm that down. When somebody says, I have a tightness in my chest, activating the vagus nerve could help lighten that up and reduce that stress there. So what does it do? Most importantly, it kicks up that parasympathetic nervous system and um, counteracts the um, negative consequences of stress. Now, stress is normal, but it's how we manage it that creates resilience and strength and wellness um, or diminishes our resilience, gives us anxiety, sleep problems, and some other disorders. So you're ready to learn how to activate, stimulate, turn on your vagus nerve? Well, here you go. One is to actually relax the face, okay? So if you, this, uh, this is recorded, but oh well, here you go. So crunch up your face and then relax it and just really let go of these muscles. Relax and take a breath with the muscles around your um, eyes and your mouth and let your face relax. And your vagus nerve is beginning to kick up, tune in and get aware that it's time to uh, get going and relax. Another thing you can do is to um, splash cold water on your face, seriously. When you wash your face, a lot of us like kind of lukewarm water, but I'm gonna recommend, since you're already washing your face and your hands, you can use cold water. And this, again, stimulates the vagus nerve. 20 or 30 seconds of splashing can really, really help. You know what else helps? Gargling cold water. Just out of the tap, just gargle. When you brush your teeth in the morning and at night, activate the vagus nerve, tune it in, by gargling with some cold water, okay? Believe it or not, it activates it and begins to get your system in a flexibility of calming down when it gets overstimulated and calming down. So this is vagus nerve fitness. And um, the other is, you've heard this in so many other places, breathing. But what activates the vagus nerve in terms of breath work is a long extended inhale through the nose and an extended exhale through the mouth. This is diaphragmatic breathing, not chest breathing, so it's lower. So if you just take a minute and put your hand on your lower gut in where your diaphragm is and breathe in for the count of five. Now exhale. For the count of five. Now you can do four, you can do eight. The key is extended diaphragmatic breathing, even for 30 seconds to a minute, will activate the vagus nerve, activate that calming, focusing part of our system. The other things that really help are long walks. When you are out there for a long time, over 30 minutes, you begin to breathe in a rhythmic pattern and long walks outside activate the vagus nerve. Meditation, meditation on loving kindness, thoughts and feelings of gratitude in your meditation. And remember, meditation is just single-minded focus. It's a moment to separate from everything else and go inside. That activates the vagus nerve as well and begins to stimulate it. All these things you're doing, you're stimulating that vagus nerve so it can be in good shape to build your resilience. Supportive minerals also can be um, influencing the vagus nerve, potassium, magnesium, sodium. So check your diets, you know, it's always a good idea. And of course, um, it, your vagus nerve can be, well, it can be negatively impacted by lots of sugar or overstimulating ca caffeine or coffee. That's gonna diminish the impact of the vagus nerve. So, Consistency is the key. That means every single day. I like to think of it as link it to something that you're already doing. So you get up in the morning, before you get out of bed, do some long and slow belly breaths before your feet hit the ground. You might even turn off the alarm and just take even 60 seconds of some belly breathing will really, really help. You get up and you brush your teeth. 
So gargle with some cold water. Wash your face with cold water. After you work out, splash cold water on your face, okay? At night, do some breathing, extended belly breath breathing. You could be watching TV, you could be doing anything, and it'll activate that vagal nerve. Also, when you brush your teeth at night, see you already are doing these things that you could just add to the cold water gargling, the cold water on your face. And these are the things that you can do to help your stress management system that's already in place. So please, I hope you uh, will do some of these things. They're easy, they can be done daily. And then let me know what you think. You can report back and we can find out how are these things working for everybody. These are some of the things in telehealth that our counselors are helping teach people and their children and their families to be able to manage some of the changes that are going on in our world. And you know, the changes are gonna continue, life is gonna continue to change as we emerge and evolve through this pandemic stress. So create these tools and use them so that you'll have a continual tool belt of strong self-management and self-care. And if you want to go into it any further or even get some supportive counseling and therapy, remember that Coherence Associates and all of our therapists are here for you and with you. And we are 100% telehealth and can manage um, whatever's going on. So give us a call at 760-942-8663. Be well, and I'll talk to you later.